absolute honour to be up there next to Bung today as his best man. When he asked me nearly 18 months ago if I could be his best man, I couldn't say yes fast enough. Bung loved playing footy and being involved with the club, and from memory, he even brought home a few Best Team Man awards. Which I don't know if that says more about the sort of bloke he is, or his lack of actual footballing ability. <laughs> About three and a half years ago, Bung and Caitlin brought the little legend Coop into the world, which coincided with Bung finally growing up and getting some much needed maturity into his life. It wasn't long after that, we celebrated our friend's Uns and Bats wedding in Clare. In fact, I think it may have been Caitlin's first chance after having Cooper to let her hair down. But somehow, I remember her asking me earlier in the night if I thought she was good enough for Michael. After I choked on my gin and tonic <laughs> and clarified she was talking about the same Michael I knew, I reassured her that she was more than good enough. All jokes aside, Bung, it's been an absolute privilege being your mate for as long as I have. It's been a wild ride and one I hope never ends. I can only hope that both of our boys, Cooper and Sonny, share even half the friendship we've shared over the last 23 years. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. How you going? Good. Hey, they're cold. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go have a cool run. You look good. <laughs> just good. Yeah, just good. <laughs> we'll aim for something better next time. <laughs> Fantastic. Caitlin, I stand here in front of our loved ones to confess my love for you. I promise to stand by your side through life's up and down, to support you and build you up when you are down. I promise to encourage you and make you smile and laugh every day. You always put others' needs above your own without question. Your willingness to support our family is the glue that keeps us together. You keep me grounded and you keep me in check when I'm doing a million things at once and need directions. <laughs> From the moment you hit me up on Bumble, I knew something was special about you and I'm glad you chose me to be by your side on this journey of life. Seeing you as a mother is one of life's joys. The happiness you bring to our family is endless. You made me a father, which is I'm forever grateful for and I cannot wait to grow our family bigger. You helped me grow from a boy to a man and without you by my side I'll be lost. Caitlin Nelly Bone, you are my best friend, the love of my life. I love you down forever. Mine's a bit longer. Holy oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Small print. <clears throat> Michael. For most of my 20s and my single life, people always told me that I was too picky and that I expected too much. But I like to think that I just knew what I wanted and what I deserved. Little did I know that I, all I needed to do was download the app Bumble and swipe right to find you in my 2.6 kilometre radius nearby. <laughs> when I met you, it all made sense why no other relationship had succeeded in the past. 
You were and you are exactly the type of man that I want in my life to be there until the end. Not once did you play games with my feelings, nor did you make me question your genuine interest in me. I applied the rules as per the movie, he's just not that into you, very strictly to my love life and you 100% passed. So, if I could give my 22 year old self any advice for life and for love in particular, it would be to wait. Wait until you meet the one who messages you each morning and every night, who makes an active effort to spend time with you, who calls you when he says that he will, who makes plans with you months in advance, who persists despite your somewhat hard exterior and who isn't afraid to show you just how much he cares about you. Because it will all be worth the wait and you will get what you want and what you deserve or maybe something even better than you had imagined. Michael, we have achieved so much together in the relatively short amount of time that we have known each other and in a semi-unconventional way. I would be lying if I said that all of it was easy, but it has only made our relationship stronger and more resilient, and I'm proud of the couple that we are here today. Thank you for choosing me, flaws and all, for making me laugh each day without fail, and for the unconditional love that I don't ever need to doubt. Without you, I would not have this life, and most importantly, we would not have our boy Cooper. Today, I promise to love you forever and always, no matter what. I promise to love you when I have asked you the same question a hundred times and you still haven't heard what I said. I promise to love you when you don't use grammar in a text message and it is open to interpretation, good or bad. I promise to love you when I ask for nothing for my birthday and you literally give me nothing. <laughs> and I promise to love you even though you don't manage to put your dirty laundry in the bag just next to it. I can't wait to be able to officially refer to you as my husband and to basically do the same as we did yesterday and the day before and the day before. To rush to be the first in bed at around 8pm and watch our respective shows on our own devices with minimal talking until one falls asleep before the other. And to wake up the next morning around 5am with a small addition in the bed between the two of us and a million other cars and trucks. Michael, I love you and I love doing this life with you. <laughs> That's mummy. Uh, that wrong, wrong one, wrong one. That's no, mine. That's Ta, mate. Thank job. you. Good job. One job, Jess. <laughs> Can you do it again? <laughs> do another one? Can you give that one to mum? Ta. Great Good job. job. <laughs> Michael and Caitlin, as you exchange these rings, may they be a symbol of the promise to always encourage and inspire each other, smile and laugh with each other, and to comfort one another in times of sorrow and struggle. So with the power vested in me by the laws of Australia, I now have great pleasure in declaring you husband and wife, and you may now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> It's been a wonderful afternoon in the Adelaide Hills witnessing Caitlin and Michael exchange their vows. It was very special for us and Michael's family to be invited there. And we thank you both. No you. And no decisions are made until all the information is at hand. So it was pleasing to see that when the investigation paperwork came back, Michael had been approved. <laughs> Caitlin. Daughter, sister, friend, mother, and now wife. You're all of these and more. Congratulations. And you used to say, if anything will go wrong, it would happen to you. Well, things do go right for you also. You have Michael and you have Cooper. Now all your research time is down here. You have really blossomed as a parent and things have changed for the better. When Cooper was born, all you would say was, I'm still keeping him alive. And boy, has he thrived. Our super Cooper. He's our superhero. He has superhero powers where one sense is heightened and the other one is diminished. He can smell chocolate from three rooms away. But his hearing is almost non-existent when it suits him. Thank you for sharing him with us. We're very proud of who you have become. As parents, we can only wish for our children to be happy and content in their journey through life. 
nice pairs yourself. I'm sure you would be wishing the same. If life was just breathing, then today you took our breath away. Now that is life. Be kind to each other and look out for each other. You have all our love. Congratulations. Here in the shade for my better days. I'm not trying to complain.